It might be harder for you to get some of your favorite items at the grocery store. A worldwide supply chain problem is one of the reasons for empty shelves. We checked in with local grocery stores dealing with this issue, including Olmstead's Fresh Market in Crystal. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us what's behind the supply shortage and how it could impact consumers. This aisle has been a problem. Jim Olmstead, owner of Olmstead's Fresh Market in Crystal, says he's having a hard time keeping some items on store shelves these days. And this is where all of our box drinks should be, and we just can't get any. Water, pop, and juice are in short supply. This just all got filled up today. Uh, one of the other things that happens is if we order 50 cases of something, uh, we might only get 20 of it. The snack section is looking sparse too in some spots, especially Frito-Lay's products. Well, it's football season, so it comes back to demand again. People eating pop and chips, they can't keep up with supplies. A few aisles over and customers are hard pressed to find canning lids. My lids for canning. I can't find them anywhere. In August, Olmstead put a limit on how many canning lids customers can purchase, and they quickly sold out. Well, I've been told that they are running, um, there is no aluminum, there's a shortage. Financial experts say there are several reasons for the backlog. There's a material and labor shortage. And to make things worse, there's not enough truck drivers to get items to the store. As you can imagine, that makes it pretty hard to keep some items in stock. Some customers are noticing a difference in their wallets. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, food prices have gone up 3.4% over the last year. Some shoppers say it pays to shop around for good deals. I usually get the point to house steaks at reasonable prices and uh, I get them on sale for seven or eight dollars or I have they're up to 14 15 dollars a pound. Meanwhile Olmstead says the supply chain is also impacting his overall bottom line but things aren't as bad as they were as at the height of the pandemic. If you don't have it you can't sell it if you can't sell it you can't uh, you know get the money to pay your bills. In Crystal, Sonia Goins, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.